Okay, I'm almost done with cleaning this Space Marines. This here is the last one, the sergeant. My hands really start to hurt now, you know. It took me almost 90 minutes for those guys. And that's just the bodies, you know. There's, there will be, you know, arms and, and uh, bolters and other smaller items which also need to be cleaned. If you think long term, then I think it's well invested time to do this step properly because otherwise you will probably regret it. Well, it, it depends on what kind of standard you want the army, but you know, if you think that you, know, you spend time painting them and stuff and then you have those marks from the from the molding and everything on them well it's just I think it's just worth it also it's really after an hour it's really <laughs> getting very boring I wonder if Dave also did that to his 30 assault marine son. <laughs> so hey, something I would like to know, something you might want to post, um, is what actually brought you into the hobby and what keeps you going okay. I mean, is it uh, the painting, is it the collecting or is it the game itself or maybe any other reason, friends who play it and no, it can be a lot of different um, different reasons. And yeah, what did start it? You know, did you just walk into a GW store and saw those nice models, or did you first maybe play the computer game Dawn of War, or did a friend? bring you in that's something I would like to know for me it was like um, actually I was playing another game it's called it's a card game it's called Magic the Gathering and there was a new store which sold cards and I went there and a friend of mine told me that they play some kind of some kind of board game with miniatures. I was a bit skeptical, but when I saw the stuff, I was like instantly hooked, you know. Probably that's, you know, that's how it started. I saw those nice armies, they were fully painted. One was a Tau army, I believe, and the other, I don't remember probably Space Marines and you know, I thought man that's an awesome game started painting and as soon as I painted two you know, one tactical squad ten marines and the scout squad and the commander I played my first game and since then I'm painting and Mostly Space Marines, a few guards, guard models, but mostly Space Marines. But my next army will be guard, that I know already. Okay, that's the last one, that's the Sarge. Um, okay, I'm gonna look for some bases and then um, 
I'll be back. Okay, you can see um, the basis. 17. So let's start gluing those space marines to the bases. I'm using this uh, glue from from Rebel. It has this uh, metallic pipe uh, in front. It's I think I'll, I'll I really like to work with this one because you can you can work um, very uh, exact you know exact dosage of glue. I don't like the ones with the with the brush, especially. I mean, here it doesn't really matter, right? Doesn't matter if you glue on the base or on the model, because it's going to be painted anyway. But if you have some small items to glue on, then this is really a good good glue, I believe. Um, there are different philosophies when it comes to assembling models and painting. Okay, I think a lot of people assemble the complete model and then start painting. That's I'm sure that's a very good way to go. But I don't know why, but I have an issue when let's say I assemble a space marine then you know, put on the arms and the bolter and then I cannot properly paint the chest plate and, uh, you know that's just I don't know people say okay you cannot really see it so you don't have to paint it but somehow I got used to assembling as much as I can but most of the time when it comes uh, to space marines I first paint the the chest the arms and then I attach the arms to the model this has some disadvantages because when you're painting the arms for instance you are constantly touching them and that is of course not really good for for the painted parts because yeah you know, when you touch it with your hands even if you if you wash them regu regularly um, it will affect the paint so what you can do of course is sticking the, the arm or, or whatever part you're, you're painting um, on some kind of I don't know um, well for instance this tech marine here in order not to touch him all the time I put it on this uh, I don't know even how it's called in English but um, I taped it on this thingy and so I can hold it here and then paint the model without touching it. Okay. Yeah. But probably it would be just easiest to assemble it completely, base coat it and then start painting. So I'm not suggesting anything here, so you have to find out what's what's working best for you, and then do that. You know, anything you see in my videos is just how I do it. If you think it's the wrong way, then please, please do it your own way, and let me know. Okay? Maybe I was just not aware of a better way to do a certain thing 
be it painting, assembling, whatever, if you have tips for me, I am most welcome to hear them. So don't hesitate to to post, give me tips and ask me questions. I mean, you know, that's something I also like in the, in the videos Dave is doing. Um, I would like to maybe read comments and answer questions while I'm painting or assembling. Of course I am not <laughs> as popular as Dave, so probably I will not get a lot of hits on these videos. <laughs> but if you happen to watch it and if you have a question concerning wargaming um, please ask maybe uh, for those who are interested I am living in Switzerland that's in Europe you can hear my horrible accent um, I'm 37 so quite uh, no not old of course and that's also a matter of perspective but mm, let's say experienced okay and I play Warhammer since maybe three years Warhammer 40k I have to say I never got into fantasy don't know why exactly maybe I just actually I, I love fantasy actually more than sci-fi stuff but when it comes to Warhammer it's a uh, it has always been uh, 40k so this is the last Space Marine to be glued. I'll put them away now because it's already dark outside and yeah, I will do the base coating tomorrow. Here they are. And probably um, we'll do then another video. Oops. tomorrow okay so 4 8 12 16 oh it's even 18 not 17 it's 18 space marines eight go into the devastated squads still two missing and 10 of them will be my sixth tactical squad Okay, that's it for now. Bye guys.